Hello everyone and welcome back to the Glosser channel. I am here today with Daryl O'Brien to discuss contemporary political issues in Australia, including the GAP Party, the Great Australian Party. How are you doing today, Daryl? Very well, Robert. Thank you for being on the program. I really appreciate it. We're here in Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia, and you're involved in GAP, the Great Australian Party. Some people have heard of the party. It is fairly new. It's a fairly new political party, but you're certainly having an impact already. Can you give us a little bit of background detail on the party and exactly who's involved? Well, thank you for having me on your show. And yes, we've um, the Great Australian Party was um, um, sort of built up through our experience with Senator Rodney Cullerton in the um, Australian uh, federal parliament in 2016. Um, we, we felt that there was a, a need in this country to get the word out to the people of Australia that uh, there is a problem. As we highlighted in Rodney's um, maiden speech and his maiden question to the to the Senate, um, once we put that out and we saw the reaction, we thought, yes, there's a need to <coughs> sort of bring about a political party, even though the law of this land doesn't really recognise a political party, in order to sort of take up um, uh, that voice for the Constitution of Australia, um, we need to join the political party system um, and because that's what the people of Australia are used to voting for and get them on board um, without the restrictions that the usual political parties apply to their candidates and to their members and get uh, the message of the constitution and the structure of government out to the highest authority which are the people and um, bring about the, the commonwealth um, and start this new paradigm in politics here in Australia utilising the people as that voice, utilising the will of the people to bring about a true change in the way our, our government administrate the people's affairs. So the Great Australian Party is about, <laughs> I guess, taking all the mistakes of the past um, and exposing those mistakes but also bringing about a remedy and that's our main focus is rather than just say oh he or she has done this and done that and the law prescribes that they should be dealt with accordingly we're saying the law does prescribe those that misbehave have to be dealt with according to the law but we also have to learn to forgive um, and we need to move forward because the major problem is that the Australian people just have had no idea of what the law has prescribed government and their restrictions. Government under the law of the land being the Australian Constitution, it's very clear what government is. It gives that government structure and it shows you what government can and what government cannot do and how to deal with problems that arise within government. That hasn't been adhered to by the people of Australia because they've been, they haven't had no knowledge of that document and our aim is to bring that knowledge out to the people and encourage them to take part in governance because that's the crucial element in the running of government in this country that the people take a vital and, and powerful role within that structure in order to make it work 
the way the, the framers of our constitution intended. So the party dates back to around about 2016. This will be the, your fifth year of existence. I suppose one of your keynote speakers or most high profile representatives, Rodney Cullerton in Western Australia. And I think a big part of what you're doing based on what you've just said to me is a process of remedy. There needs to be changes. You're attempting to implement changes through the political system itself. Yes, as the law prescribes. So we're standing 100% behind that Commonwealth Constitution and the laws that have been uh, properly brought about as a result of that Constitution and we're holding that as a torch to those in government that stand today and we're saying this is how you do it. So you've got about five years of experience at this stage of the party's political existence. I believe there's a promotional tour happening at the moment. You have a gap party bus that is doing a road trip around Australia. Can you tell us a bit about that? Where will the bus be stopping off? When are the next elections, whether they be state, local? Exactly what uh, what's the time frame we're looking at here? Well, we started the bus tour um, the bus has been built up over probably about a almost 12 month period um, and we started that tour last October 2020 um, and Rodney took the bus to Darwin. Our aim was to bring on board through a memorandum of understanding the um, indigenous tribes uh, and their their tribal leaders. Um, <clears throat> we needed that bus to be the face of our party uh, and to bring confidence, I guess, in the, the people that we're not just your average politician wannabe. <clears throat> we're here to adhere to that law and what the bus was doing was saying, uh, here we are, uh, we're open, we're transparent, um, we're not your usual political party, we want to sit down, we want to listen to what you, what your grievances are and accordingly help you. Um, and as such, we're asking, which is what we've done in the northern, with the northern tribal people, we've asked them to intervene in a case that we've got running in London. Um, we managed, to, we spent a couple of months in Darwin, we, we were in pretty much uh, constant uh, negotiations with those um, tribal people, they're all on board. Um, and then we sort of broke up for Christmas and the bus is now, the bus went from Darwin back around the northern part of Western Australia back to Perth for the Christmas break. Uh, and just recently the bus went from Perth to Canberra and there we met um, the <coughs> a Senate um, candidate for New South Wales, uh, Peter Evans, and we had organised a meeting with um, a sitting member of Parliament, Craig Kelly, uh, and Peter and Craig and Rodney um, had a very fr fruitful meeting there one day a couple of weeks ago uh, and the bus at the moment um, is heading into towards Broken Hill and then back down to uh, Adelaide. Uh, it'll be stored there for a, a couple of weeks and then Rodney's coming to Melbourne and um, our main aim at the moment is to get promotion towards the next federal election, which will be rumours uh, either the end of this year, 2021, or early next year. Um, so uh, between now and then, we intend the bus to go up and down the east coast of Australia uh, and promote the Senate team that uh, the Great Australian Party is promoting, uh, that 
we want the people of Australia and the voters of Australia to see that bus and to um, come on board and ask us and talk to us about what we've done and what we're doing and what we're planning and have a look at our policies. They are different. Um, we've carefully looked at all of the problems in Australia that we've that I mentioned earlier and we've formulated a group of policies to hopefully be a good foundation um, for what we intend to do when we get into that parliament and make a difference. Do you have any online presence such as Facebook or your own website for people who can't meet you or meet the bus in person? Is there any online resource centre they can visit? Yes, there is. There's Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook profile. We also have <coughs> our own app. So GAP app is accessible through the website, through the Great Australian Party website, and we encourage um, people to look at that website, have a look at our policies, and uh, join up as a member uh, and have access as such to the app. The app then will show you where the bus is and uh, where the bus is headed uh, and any updates 